Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. How we doing, people? So, as you can see, this is another What's in the Box video. So, how we doing, people? Um, today's video, besides it being a What's in the Box video, is also going to be about um, why, what books do you collect and why? So, I always uh, open the box before I get it, and I check the books out just to make sure. So, you can see here, first book. I just put it in here. It's not bad, you know. I mean, I wouldn't expect that much, even though they're like dollar books. I, I spent like 15 for this pack right here. So, let's uh, check them out, shall we? So this is what started it started it for me. Gossam Underground number eight. It's a uh, nine part series, I want to say, and the uh, covers form like all the covers line up. And I was missing number eight, and I want to do a video about this. So. Um, this is what started it. So I was like, oh, I need to got some number eight. Let me go check it on eBay. Uh, there was a, a dollar listing. And so I was like, well, let's see what else this person has. Because, you know, it's going to be like $5 shipping. Let's see what else I could pile up in. And, you know, long story short, I got this whole lot for about $15, $16 with tax and shipping. So I felt pretty good about that. Uh, Gossam Under Night or Underground is a story that... Uh, it kind of starts off with the uh, penguin, so that's where I'm just going to leave it. But each individual cover is pretty cool, so that's why I wanted to get this. Oh, next up, Silver Surfer, the in an Infinity Gauntlet crossover, the Rage of the Rhino. Um, for those of you who are not um subscribe to my instagram come check it out it's comic book gallery same name has the logo of i want to say it's either 140 or 141 it shows wolverine's the day of the future past i got that out of the way and for all you new people stopping by hello thank you uh the rage of the wino <laughs> i was like when i first saw this cover i was like i have to read this you know even though I had this book back in the days, now I'm getting it again, because this is one of the series that I wanted to collect, was the Silver Surfer series, and I think this one is number, number two, might be three, but I want to say it's number two, and, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, there's no way the Rhino has a chance to beat Silver Surfer, and they're showing him all with his cosmic powers, like, really? <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't care if you gave Rhino some uh, boost, uh, boosted skills or powers or whatever. He's not beating Silver Surfer. So, um, yeah, I'll probably break this down. This is an interesting read. Then I saw this baby. So, uh, Joker. The Joker's Wild. Robin number two. Part one of four. You know what that means. I gotta go get the other ones. Um, foil cover. So you got the little Robin stamp. Um, I had the series. It, like, I've sold off my comic book collection like two times. And this is the third time I've, I've rebuilt it. And this is gonna be the last time. I mean, I might sell off some books. But there will be a lot that I will just always hold on to. Like my X-Men stuff. So I do remember reading this. I just, um... I thought, I, I thought it was okay, or maybe I thought it was good at the time, and, you know, maybe it's a story that holds up, but you gotta love this cover, dude. It's the Joker, baby. Come on, now. Here's another cool. Silver Surfer and Thor, again, um, versus, what does it say? Versus the Mighty Thor for the fate of Beta Ray Bill. Uh, Thor wouldn't stand a chance either, and I, you know, leave a comment all you want about God Thor and all this. He doesn't have the power of cosmic people. I mean, Odin is pretty powerful, but I don't think Odin could ever beat, um, Galactus, 
he, I mean, I think they had it one part, he took it to like a standstill, and then uh, Odin couldn't take it anymore, and he went into his Odin sleep, so I mean, really, that's like a, a win for Galactus. But either way, still cool cover, so I thought I'd pick it up for a review, uh, Blood and Thunder Part 2, which means I gotta go get the other set, the other series of this. Silver Surfer and Ronan the Accuser, I want to say. That looks like. Um, and then there's Frankie Nova. Again, like, you want to look for some good Silver Surfer stories. Check out this run. Because, uh, first, it's not going to be that expensive. And, second, you're going to get some a lot of good Silver Surfer stories. Uh, that's why I wanted to pick these books up. So I can do, like, little reviews. And have something interesting to show on my Instagram page. Along with my older books. And as you can see all those pops. And if you can't really see them that well. It's even more motive for you to uh, go check out my Instagram page. That way you don't miss this stuff. Alright moving on. Silver Surfer 20. You know back then it was a buck. And I paid a buck. But look. Like none of these books are in like near mint condition. They're like. You know, barely, maybe they qualify as fine to very good. So, I bought them because I wanted to read them. And if they were interesting enough, I would talk about them. But still, I do love the art on this. So, Silver Surfer. So, Nova, Reptilian, UPC, whatever that's supposed to be. Fire Lord, Skull, and uh, Nainora. I don't know who she is. Well, I guess I'll find out when I read the book. And this is another book. Oh, Infinity Gauntlet Crossover. This is such a good series. So we got Fire Lord and Drax. It, it's like Drax, stay back. Flame hair dies while the universe troubles. So um, if you watch the uh, movies, which I hope you did, because the Guardians of the Galaxies had a really good, uh, so far, two movies. Hopefully it'll be three. I'm pretty sure it's going to be three. I feel good about that. Um... Drax is a lot different, you know, so they, they took off the purple, they toned down the green because they already had Gamora as being green, then they had the Hulk, so they're, you know, I'm not, you know, some stickler's like, no, he's got to have this, and I think Drax has a cape, so <laughs> um, try to picture uh, Batista wearing a cape, and you'll see why they did not include the cape. Uh, in the comic, most of these comic book movies that Marvel has made, most of the heroes, their powers are way toned down than than they are in the comic books because they just need to to tell an interesting story. So um, I'll be definitely doing a review of this. I remember reading this book back in the days too. So uh, here we go with Thanos. Oh, he's picking on poor little Silver Surfer. So Silver Surfer number 59. I like it, dude. I mean, nice cover. So hopefully the story, story will be good. And that's the last book, sadly. So, um, you know, nice little recap. of uh, Oh, no. Why? Why? I'm not editing that out, people. That's, we're, we're keeping that. We are keeping that. If I set up my camera again. Oops. It's this leg that, that came out. Alright. Now that things are like, you know, back to normal. So, uh, like I said, I'm <laughs> showing the Silver Surfer book. Um, this is actually a not bad little surf, uh, Silver Surfer haul here. You know, I'm trying not to cover them all up, trying to show some things, but so for like a um haul, like what are you guys picking up and reading? Like everything's not shouldn't be about oh this is my grail and this book right here, you know, this worth is five hundred dollars. That's what not uh most comic book collectors, at least when I started back in the eighties. Yes, you were still into value, but you really were into it just for reading a good story. And just to show you 
what I was uh, looking at those type of prices back then. I remember uh, starting to read the X Men, and I saw the first, <laughs> I saw the first appearance of Wolverine. You know, Hulk, Hulk eighty one, and uh, it was twenty dollars in the back of a book, and they're like, these books are like near mint, you know, and I'm like. I look back on that now, and I'm like, you're such a dumbass, dude. Why don't you buy those books? But back then, it was different, you know? Um, I always, should, I, I never thought that comic books would take off like this, you know? And if you would have asked anybody back in the 80s, they'd be like, hey, you think there's just going to be a big market explosion past the year 2000? And I'd been like, get the hell out of here. And so, I didn't pick up those books. And I'm kind of a casual collector in a sense so that's why i like making these videos is to help like new um people uh give my tips that i've been using that i was taught that everybody was taught you know like buy first appearances but sometimes it's more than just buying first appearances it's really about buying what you can afford because there is so much out there and you can't collect it all you know and if you had a chance to collect most of it, it would have been back before around my time and definitely in the 70s. So those people who were collecting comic books back then, those are the people you see now with these amazing, fantastic collections. And yeah, there are some people who get into comics and they devote a huge portion of income, which may not be a huge portion of income to them. But, you know, for most of us casual collectors, you know, when they're like, hey, I bought this grail. And some will tell you what they paid and others won't. Um, and that's a personal choice. But, you know, you can look the book up. If you see something that's like a 9-8 a of like, you know, Hulk at 181. You know, he, you know, he spent 15 to 20 if he gets lucky. But upwards up to thirty thousand somewhere in that range, it could it could go. I mean, probably even higher than that. You know, I haven't really looked it up because I can't afford a nine eight. I mean, that would be a down payment on a house, and I'd rather have a house, or I could just live in my car with my Hulk one eighty one. Hmm. Interesting thought. All right, people. So I thought I'd just share this um, unboxing. And a new style that I'm going to be recording in because the other style kept flipping everything with the letters. And, you know, I was looking back at it. It's kind of annoying. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leak a, leave, leak, leave a like button. I mean, hit the like button. Leave a comment below and subscribe. All right, people. I got to go to bed. It's late. Catch you later.